Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, we are going to go over how to use NTFS and EXFAT media, external hard drive or a thumb drive with your Oculus Quest. I just did a video on how to do it with FAT32, which is natively supported. I had a few people ask, they wanted to know how to do it with EXFAT or FAT32, I'm sorry, NTFS. Uh, and it is possible, it's a little bit trickier, but that's what we're gonna show you how to do. It's really not that hard, so let's jump into it. Tyco Tech, Tech Reviews and Tutorials. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need, it's a paid app. It's called JS USB OTG. So yeah, just a lot of initials. JS USB OTG. I'll show you uh, on the phone what it looks like. So you're gonna go over to the Play Store. You're going to have to just do a search for JS USB OTG. There it is. And you're gonna go ahead and buy it on your phone. If you don't have an Android phone, you can still get it. It's a lot trickier though, but I will provide a link down below to a tutorial done uh, by OpenPC Reviews. Uh, Peter over there has got a great tutorial on how to actually do it with an emulator on your PC. So if you don't have Android, you're an iPhone user, you can do it uh, on a computer. Uh, but really the easiest way to do this is just to use your phone because you're going to buy the app, you're going to download it on your phone, and then you're going to want another app and it's called uh, File Manager Plus. So if you're going to type in File Manager, you want the File Manager that's by Flashlight and Clock. That's the name of the developer and in my results it came up number three. But I'll click on it so you can see. So this is what it looks like right here. Install that. Now, once you've got JS USB OTG installed and File Manager Plus, uh, I guess on here they're just calling it File Manager now. Uh, once you have those installed, go ahead and open up File Manager uh, and then you're going to click on apps and then just do a search for JS USB OTG, there it is. Go ahead and long press on it and in the bottom left you're gonna click backup and boom, it's backed up. Now, that app is now on your phone and it can be moved over to your computer to sideload on the Quest. Now, JS USB OTG is a great app that will read NTFS and uh, EXFAT. Uh, it's going to be located on your main storage. Here, I'll show you. We'll just go main storage. It's gonna be backups and then apps, and there it is. So when you plug your phone in your computer, just go to its main storage, backups, apps. You'll see JS USB OTG there. So you're going to then move that over to your computer. Uh, another app that I would definitely recommend, uh, there's a couple of them, just makes this whole thing a little bit uh, easier, is a VLC player for watching videos. You can't actually stream or like watch videos from the hard drive that are 3D or 360 because there's just no way to open them up in a VR player. Uh, so the last video we used Samsung VR player that works great for uh, the FAT32 formatted drives but it just will not work because we're going to be using the JS USB OTG thing. Um, so VLC will play in conjunction with JS USB OTG uh, but only 2D movies. If you want 3D movies or 360 movies you are going to have to just transfer them from your media over onto the Quest and then you can use any player you want. I would recommend Skybox Player, it's great. So just move them over and I will show you how to do that here in a second. But then that way you're not occupying a ton of space. You can watch a video and then just delete it immediately when you're done. So that app, the File Manager Plus, I would recommend putting that on your Quest as well, along with App Starter, and then there's a little shortcut that we've got that will open up App Starter right from your unknown sources. So this just makes it all very simple. So I will provide links to everything down below. Um, let's go ahead and I'll show you on the computer really quickly if you don't know how to sideload stuff. This is, I wanna make this video good for everybody, even people who haven't watched previous videos. So if you're a first timer here, you're getting everything that you, can, you need to know out of the video. Um, developer mode, you are going to need to enable that. I'll provide a link down below how to do it. It's so simple, it's a short three minute video. Uh, so enable dev mode, plug your headset into your computer, look inside the headset, make sure that you grant permission for the PC to access it, that might pop up. You're gonna download SideQuest. I'll provide a link to that down below. Uh, so here we are on the computer. Here is SideQuest opened up. Uh, the Quest is plugged in, you'll see at the top it says that it's connected. Um, I'm actually connected wirelessly, but you'll plug in and you'll see that it's connected. 
you're going to take JSUSB OTG, all of the APKs that I recommend down below, and you're just going to drag them from a window over into the top left right here, and then let them go, and they'll install. It's that simple. Very, very, very easy. So now that you've got all of that installed, let's go ahead and I'll show you in the headset kind of how it's all going to look and how it's going to work. So let me switch over here so I'm uh, recording uh, the actual headset. Make sure it's gone. Okay, there we go. So. I'll go ahead and actually go home here. So let's just go back to my library. Let's even this out. So here's the library. You're going to go over to unknown sources. And if you've <clears throat> installed the app starter launcher right here, um, it's going to come up at the very top or near the very top of your unknown sources. So this is something that I tweaked from a, a guy, uh, Gyro Joe. I found it on Reddit, um, but I've redone a bunch of these. So here it is, it puts it right at the top of your list. You're gonna open up App Starter here, uh, and boom, here are all of your side loaded apps. Um, when you first install this, it's going to show all of your apps. It's super like messy. Go over to settings and then click on uh, hidden apps and you can hide apps. So apps you don't wanna see, you're just going to check off and they're hidden, okay? So that'll help you clean it up a little bit right here. Um, but up here, here is JS USB OTG. Uh, I've also got VLC installed and I've got File Manager installed. File Manager is great because you can sift through all of your files and delete movies. So when you've watched a movie, you wanna just quickly and easily delete it. You can come up here to File Manager and uh, maybe you put it underneath like your movies folder or whatnot. Um, you can come in here and you can just long press and then delete. But let's go ahead and back out of this right here. So JS USB OTG, you are going to need a USB uh, OTG adapter. I will provide a link down below to that. Let me go ahead and hold this. This cable is not very long. So we'll just be holding on to this. All right, we're back in the headset here. And where do we go? Oops, now you will sometimes get this system UI. Just click quit and it'll kind of reboot here like that. Now that this is plugged in, you're gonna go over here and you're gonna click on JS USB OTG. It's going to uh, open it up. Uh, yes, we wanna go ahead, and I don't click use by default because I'm always changing stuff around, but you might do that if you're not worried about using other apps with your drive. And then here we go. So here is the movies. Now, a regular movie, we're gonna go ahead and click on something here. We'll play it just fine with VLC. So let's go ahead and just find an old Adam Sandler, anger management, that's fine. You're gonna click on direct open, okay? Right at the very bottom. And this is great for your 2D stuff. And then open with VLC. Um, you can click always. My rule of thumb is just once in case I wanna change something in the future. And it's gonna open up anger management here in VLC in the quest and then there we go. We're playing it, bada bing, bada boom, we're good. So let's go ahead and back out of that. Now, let's say that this is a 3D movie and you wanna copy it over. Super simple, just long press, hold it, um, and now it's selected. And then in the top right, you'll see the little uh, copy icon. Click that and then copy to. And you know, I would say probably movies, that's a good, so click on movies and then just click paste here and you're done. Now that video has been transferred over to your internal movies storage folder. If you wanna to get to it later, you can come over here, open up File Manager, uh, go on to your main storage, and then we're going to click on uh, movies right here, and then you can just long press on the movie, come on, and then delete. Boom, I don't wanna delete this. And then that movie's gone. Um, it's that simple. So there you go, there's everything that you need. I guess the trickiest part was really downloading and backing it up from the phone. So you do need to have that Android phone. You gotta pay for JS USB OTG, <laughs> uh, three bucks though, it's totally worth it. It's great on the phone. Uh, so you know, I can also use uh, this and just plug in to my phone and watch movies I've got on this. So it's really nice for traveling. Uh, you don't need any really expensive hardware. The OTG adapter is all you need and they're a few bucks and very likely if you have a newer phone, especially Samsung's, you probably already have the adapter. So that's that, easy peasy. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already, that really helps the channel. Uh, smash that bell button to get notified when I do these videos. I do them kind of frequently, I'm trying to do them more. Uh, and that is that. I will see you guys in the next video, thanks.